And uh, the turn of the century, Greensboro was a rapidly growing town. Earlier in the century, it had been a sort of a little college town with Greensboro College and a few other institutions. Um, by the 1890s, uh, new industry was uh, appearing in town. Um, so Greensboro was growing rapidly, and that was a result of the railroad tracks and transportation. There was a lot of transportation in Greensboro at the time. Uh, so many trains came in and out of Greensboro that it got the name the Gate City. Governor John Motley Moorhead uh, contributed to the rail history of Greensboro through the establishment of the North Carolina Railroad. The railroad came to Greensboro in 1856, and it, uh, it's on the same track today that it was when it was made in 1856. The original train station was actually sort of across the street from the Cascade Saloon. There's sort of a recessed area where the original uh, uh, train station was. It was a small wooden building. It turned into the center and the hub of transportation for Greensboro. Early in Greensboro's existence in 1808, the town was established at the crossroads of El what we know as Elm Street and Market Street, which was then called West Street, North Street, South Street, and East Street. So right at that intersection was the center of town, and that's where the Guilford County Courthouse was. And for 50 years, that's where the town stayed. Um, with the arrival of the railroad in 1856, it began to lure commercial development uh, south along Elm Street uh, to the train stations. So the intersection of, of South Elm Street and the railroad tracks would have been a hub of activity. So you would have had numerous trains coming in from all different parts of the state. Uh, you would have seen uh, uh, horse-drawn carriages uh, lined up along Elm Street. Um, you would have had hotels in that area, so people would have been finding accommodation and checking in and out of their hotel. So this would have been a very busy hub of activity. S.J. McCauley had a saloon uh, that he cleverly wedged between two railroad tracks, and he wanted to build a larger brick building, um, but he didn't want to lose his uh, alcohol license for his saloon. And so he very cleverly began to build a three-story brick building around the old wooden saloon. So by uh, 1896, he opened up his new saloon, which was a much grander building. It had two shop fronts uh, with a partition wall, dividing wall in between the two of them. And it was quite an important building, an imposing building for downtown Greensboro as the city grew up around it.